Let me ask you a question. How do you brace your core, right? Is that sucking in, squeezing your abs? Is that holding your breath for dear life? Is it uh, red in the face? How exactly do you do it, right? It might sound ridiculous, but not everyone really knows how to brace their, your core or their core, right? So in this video, I'm gonna show you how, what it means to brace your core and how to use it so that when you go to say, pick up something heavy from the ground, you feel strong, you're using your legs, not your back, and you're not gonna F up your back in the meantime. Reach! Conventional wisdom would tell you that to brace your core, you need to squeeze your abs or pull your navel or belly button towards your spine and hollow out. Well, unfortunately, that advice now is garbage, right? We've come to find out it's a very limited strategy. So what is actually happening when we do that? Well, the idea of squeezing or bracing, what people will say your TVA or transverse abdominis, by squeezing this way is that we're increasing intra-abdominal pressure to stabilize the spine. Right? That's true because pressure does stabilize our spine. Right? It's a bony anchor point from where those muscles pull. But the problem with squeezing in is that you actually cap how much pressure you can make. You can actually, more pressure equals more stability and that's how our core works. Our st stability is our ability to control change. The more stability here, the more power we can create in our arms and legs. So if we're squeezing in here, we're actually capping our ability to stabilize. We actually want to expand to maximize our stability, thus increase power, reduce risk of injury. So for an example, if you look at a, a bodybuilder versus a strong or strong man or strong woman competitor, right? The strong man competitor is gonna be more filled out through the abdomen, more of a square or a subtle V-shape where the bodybuilder is a very thin V-shape. Well, one's for show and one's for go. There's a reason why the person that pulls a big old semi-truck has more of a squared out abdomen or is able to fill it out. So I'm gonna give you two strategies to be able to do this. So one is a quick and easy strategy, we really don't have to think about it. And number two is a little bit more of a specific strategy to maximize your ability to create your natural weightlifting belt. The first one is that instead of squeezing and pulling in, what you wanna think is can you push your abs out? So meaning that rather than sucking and squeezing, you wanna push it out, but push with a squeeze, okay? So notice my fingers here when I suck in versus when I push the abs out. So we can push out and create a Buddha belly, but we want also a squeeze, a stiff Buddha belly. Now, if you have trouble doing this, what I recommend is cough. Because <coughs> when you cough, you get <coughs> outward pressure. So the quick and easy strategy for this to brace your core in seconds is to cough and brace, <coughs> or cough and hold, I should say. <coughs> hold that. So let's say I'm gonna pick something off the ground. I'm gonna <coughs> cough and brace, use my legs, lift, and then relax, right? Quick, dirty, easy, use that, and you can move on, all right? Now, if you wanna be more specific about it and maximize your ability to use the core, we can take it a step further. But instead of just being 75%, we'll say, we wanna maximize it to 100. We wanna use our breath, okay? So what we'll do here is we first wanna be able to breathe in our abdomen. So this is the prerequisite to doing this. So we wanna be able to breathe and separate our fingers like this. Right? If you have a hard time doing that and you're very chesty like this, this may not be the best strategy for you. But if you can breathe and expand into your fingers, that's going to maximize our pressure in our abdomen. So then next what we want to do is step two of this is then squeeze or brace. Right? So I'll first, I'm going to breathe into my fingers to expand and then I'm going to bear down. Right? So it's that same strategy as before is that pushing out, but I'm adding the breath beforehand, okay? So let's do it one more time together. We're gonna get the breath, and then bear down. And that will maximize our intra-abdominal pressure. Okay, so now what does this strategy look like when picking something up? We'll set, we'll go by the weight or the whatever we're lifting. We'll first get our breath here, and then we'll brace. So whatever it may be, a couch, uh, a statue, uh, a tree, uh, I don't know, uh, li li lifting the world on your shoulders, whoever, whatever it is, you want to be able to breathe and brace. Hold that brace, and then when you've let the load go, then you let it go. Why? Because you want that maximum pressure or core stability while you have the heavy weight 
in your hands. And then lastly, one more tip, what's pretty common is a lot of people will breathe out as you're putting the weight down. So for example, I'll breathe here and hold. And then as I put the couch down, it's we don't wanna do that because as you're breathing out, you're losing pressure in your core, you're reducing stability of your spine, which means it's gonna increase your risk of injury to the spine because that load or that force has to go somewhere. And if this is not controlling it, it's gonna go right into the spine, you're gonna have a bad time. If you're intrigued by the second strategy of this breathe and brace, but you're having a hard time with it, what I recommend is this uh, trusty device called the Core 360 belt, where it has these knobs in four quadrants of this belt. So what does it do? Is we put it around our waist here and we Velcro it nice and tight. We have two knobs here and two knobs or half circles or half spheres, I should say, on the back side here. And what this does, it replaces my fingers. Instead of doing this, I can now breathe into the belt. <sighs> So if you wanna practice this or actually train with this in the gym or wherever else it may be, it's a great tool because I can lift something like this from the ground or lift really anything and practice this natural weightlifting belt. So very simply what it would look like is I would get my breath, brace, If you're interested in this belt, we have a discount code in the caption below. If you like this video, like it, subscribe, hit the bell for future content. And if you're intrigued by some of these concepts here of, the, of what we're doing with the core, we call it the core ABCs. Instead of trying to figure it out on your own on our YouTube channel, we do put this together for you directly in a core strength and stability course that's custom made for you to take you through step-by-step step through the entire core process of maximizing your core stability, which improves your performance and reduces your risk of pain and injury.